Ginkgo biloba is one of the most popular nootropics on the market. But is it really helpful? Well, let's find out. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. If that's interested, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today we're gonna talk about Ginkgo Biloba. I'm gonna tell you about my experience with this nootropic. I'm gonna talk about benefits, side effects, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you who should supplement Ginkgo Biloba and who should probably avoid it. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Now, ginkgo biloba has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries, basically. Especially, they use the leaves and the seeds of this interesting tree. Now, most recently, we can see lots of research being done using ginkgo biloba extracts. As a matter of fact, even my ex-girlfriend, who is a daughter of a pharmacist, used ginkgo biloba many, many years ago, about 12 years ago, for the end exams in high schools because she wanted to have better memory during the exams. So yes, I've known ginkgo biloba for quite some time. But recently, I decided to try it out again for a bit longer period and see what happens. Now, the recommended daily dosage is about 120 to 240 milligrams per day. Um, so I decided to stick with the higher dosage, 240 milligrams per day. I always took the capsules in the morning after eating food because that's the preferred way of taking ginkgo biloba, especially if you want to avoid any kind of side effects. Now, according to studies, I expected the following benefits. Reduced anxiety, more brain power and better well-being, and also improved memory. Of course, there are many other benefits of taking ginkgo biloba. If you want to learn about them, check my video up here. Now, firstly, it's hard to say that my anxiety reduced during the time when I was supplementing ginkgo biloba. Um, there were days I felt really good. I, I wasn't anxious at all. My stress levels were quite low. But there are also days that I can remember that were quite anxious and stressful. Um, however, what I noticed is the longer I was taking ginkgo biloba, the better I felt and the less often happened that I was anxious or stressed. And I think this happened because ginkgo biloba is a very powerful antioxidant and the longer you take it, uh, the more effective it basically gets at fighting the free, the damaging free radicals in your brain. By the way guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Now, ginkgo can also improve blood flow, which can result in better brain function and better memory. Now, sadly, during my test period, I didn't experience any kind of cognitive benefits. My memory kind of stays the same. I didn't notice any kind of benefits at all, uh, even though it's usually kind of hard to measure the effects of memory. But yeah, at least I expected something, but the something didn't really happen. Also, I didn't really feel uh, that I have more brain power, more cognition, uh, more brain energy. Uh, everything kind of stayed the same as before. However, I think that my well-being slightly improved. Probably this was related to reduced anxiety and stress, but it could also be because, as I said before, uh, ginkgo biloba is a very potent antioxidant. It contains flavonoids and terpenoids, and these exact compounds fight free radicals and have many, many uh, potential benefits. So after weeks and months of taking ginkgo biloba, yes, I can say I was in a better mood and I I felt that my well-being actually improved. However, compared to some other nootropics like Rhodiola Rosa, for example, by the way, you can watch my review of Rhodiola up here, um, the effects were kind of subtle, and yeah, there is no doubt there are more potent and more effective nootropics available on the market. Also, the studies done on healthy population kind of show mixed results. Now, what about the side effects? So during my test period, I had no issues with ginkgo biloba. As I said, I was taking it with food, which you should do, because most people that experience side effects such as headaches, stomach pain, diarrhea, and so on, they probably happen because people took a supplement without food on an empty stomach. So take ginkgo biloba with food, and I think you're on the safe side. And if something happens, do consult your doctor right away and stop taking ginkgo biloba. Also, if you're taking any antidepressants or SSRIs um, or blood thinners like aspirin or even ibuprofen, um, in this case, I don't recommend taking ginkgo biloba. If you do, before you do that, definitely consult your doctor. By the way, guys, do you wanna know how well does your brain work? Go through our free brain assessment link in the description below and get your brain health score. 
So my final conclusion, is it worth supplementing ginkgo biloba or not? Well, if you're slightly older and you're already in cognitive decline, um, then in this case, I definitely recommend supplementing ginkgo biloba because the studies for people in cognitive decline are very supportive and they show that supplementing ginkgo can slow down cognitive decline. But if you're a professional, a young professional uh, who want to have more brain power, I think there are much better nootropics available on the market. To learn more about them, watch the video on the screen that just popped up right now. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Follow your inception on social media and guys, I hope to see you soon again. Take care.